I think J.J. McCarthy is the most overrated quarterback prospect in this draft. I think he's the sixth best guy. Like, look at it. I think Caleb Williams is better. I think Michael Penix Jr. is better. I think Jaden Daniels is better. Bo Nix, Drake May, like, I think all five of those guys are better than J.J. I think he's truly the sixth best quarterback in this draft class. But what boggles my mind is the fact that I view McCarthy, maybe not as highly as NFL teams, but yet every single day you read something, all that's happening is his uh, stock is rocketing up. I mean, it's like a rocket ship. He started out early in the offseason as like a fringe top 10 pick. Now on Monday morning, he's being talked about as maybe the number two overall pick to the commanders, only behind Caleb Williams in terms of quarterbacks taken in this draft, and it blows my mind. And so I wanted to get down to the bottom of why is there such a disconnect between how I view and feel about J.J. McCarthy versus how the NFL feels about J.J. McCarthy. And I think I got down to it. I think I got to the bottom of this J.J. McCarthy, we'll call it mystery, as to why his stock is rising so heavily, despite myself and, and plenty of others not really seeing it. Here's, I think, the problem. I heard, here's what I think is happening. I think right now his stock is being boosted from, or I should say, you know, for the media and, and for teams because of what Jim Harbaugh is saying. I think a lot of teams and media are taking a lot of stock into what J.J.'s former coach is saying about him now that he's in the NFL. I think that's inflating his draft stock higher than it should be. And here's why. I want to give warning to any team out there watching this, any fan as well. I want to give warning as to why you really shouldn't listen to what Jim Harbaugh is saying. He's heaping a lot of praise towards his former guy. Talk about how he's the best quarterback in this draft class, best quarterback in Michigan football history. He's, we'll get to his pro day comments here in a second as well. He has done nothing but drive the hype train up for J.J. all offseason, whether before when he was still employed by Michigan, a few days after winning the national title, or now as head coach of the Chargers. The PR train has not stopped. Here's the why. Teams, media, fans should not listen to what Jim Harbaugh says when it comes to his former Michigan quarterback. It's because his words don't match his actions. He talks a big game, but his actions when he was at Michigan say otherwise. Like, let's just look back here. Again, Jim Harbaugh, the way he talks about McCarthy, you would think then he would trust him in a big game. He would let him throw the ball. He would let it rip. But when you look at Michigan, just go back to 2023, when they won the national title, when this was supposed to be J.J. McCarthy's best year for the Wolverines, they ran the ball the entirety of the season 550 times versus throwing the ball 332 times. You would think a quarterback whisperer, in which Harbaugh, I think it's fair to say, is, a guy who's played the position, who's coached great, if he truly feels strong about how good McCarthy is, wouldn't you think you'd throw the ball more often? I get it. They had a great run game, a dominant run game. I understand that. But still, you would think the discrepancy between run and pass would be closer to 50-50, not closer to 2-1 to one run to pass. That's what it is. And it's not just the whole season. Let's look at the biggest games. Because at least for me, when it comes to trying to like evaluate how good college quarterbacks can be in the NFL, who will hit and who won't, one thing I like to look at is how do quarterbacks play in the big game of the season? Can they elevate themselves and those around them when the team needs them the most? Which usually those two, three, four games, the biggest games on your schedule, the best teams you play. Let's look at that for Michigan in 2023. There are four biggest games they played last season. They played at Penn State, home against Ohio State, and then two playoff games uh, against Alabama and against Washington. Again, you would think with the way Jim Harbaugh talks about how great McCarthy is, he would trust him and let him sling it. But four biggest games of the year, look at the run-pass differential. Michigan ran the ball 155 times in those four games to just 75 passes. Over 2-1. to one. Run to pass ratio. Again, name me a quarterback that you actually believe in, but yet when it comes to actually putting the ball in their hands, their coach refuses to do it. Like Harbaugh talks about how much he loves him, but then in the his actions said otherwise. Biggest games of the year. He ran the ball. Didn't want to put it in McCarthy's hands. Didn't trust him. What what quarterback do you know? Point me to a quarterback in the NFL that is successful. 
when the team was afraid in college to let him make a play. Put the ball in his hands to win a game. The, you, you can't find one because it hasn't happened. The successful quarterbacks are the from in the NFL are the ones that when you put the ball in their hands, they make a play. Mahomes, Burrow, you name it. McCarthy and Michigan, it's the opposite. Oh, we need a big play. Let's hand off to Blake Corum. Here's Donovan Edwards for us making a big time run. It was never, let's put the ball in JJ's hands and let him cook. So again, like, I don't see how you could truly feel good about if you're a team in the top 10, top five, top three, top two. How can you sit there and feel good about taking McCarthy? If when you look at when push comes to shove, Jim Harbaugh's actions, a guy who knows a thing or two about the position and how to coach quarterbacks, if he didn't put the ball in his hands, how could you feel good that, you know, you can trust him and Harbaugh couldn't? That, that's number one for me when it comes to Jim Harbaugh's actions not matching his words. The other thing is, if Jim Harbaugh felt so strongly that McCarthy is this good, where he said, again, he's the best quarterback in Michigan history, he's the best quarterback in this draft class, and he just said on Monday at the spring meetings um, for the NFL, he said he witnessed J.J. McCarthy have the greatest pro day he's ever seen, for whatever that means. But no quarterback has had a greater pro day in Jim Harbaugh's opinion than the one McCarthy just put on recently. Remember, Harbaugh's coached guys like Andrew Luck. Just remember that, okay? If you are going to sit here and tell me and tell everyone that would listen that McCarthy's this great and he had the best pro day you have ever seen in your long and storied coaching career, then you know what you would do then if you're Jim Harbaugh and you truly felt the words you were saying, you would trade Justin Herbert and draft J.J. McCarthy. But I, you'd be stupid not to, right? If you think McCarthy's that good, why would you keep Herbert? Why would you keep Herbert with his massive now contract on a team, by the way, the Chargers are rebuilding? Like, like quick side note here. The Chargers are not going to be competitive in 2024. They got a lot of cap work to figure out, and they got a lot of Older guys with big contracts, they got to get, they're in the process of doing that. I've gotten rid of a few guys, but turning over the roster, getting younger, getting tougher, building the Chargers in the eye of Jim Harbaugh. They were a finesse team. They're going to become a tougher team. That takes time to build a roster to meet your coach's eye. So they're not competitive in 2024. So if you're Harbaugh, okay, well, you can move off of Herbert, get three first round picks on top of unloading that big time contract. Get J.J. McCarthy and start over. Basically bring Michigan to the NFL. But you know why he's not going to do that? You know why that's not a remote possibility whatsoever? Because Harbaugh doesn't believe what he's saying. Harbaugh's trying to be a loyal coach, try to prop his guy up, and I think, honestly, try to do McCarthy a favor, and by hyping him up so much, trying to trick a team to taking him higher than they should and get him a little extra money, but other than that, like I don't actually think Harbaugh believes what he says because his actions don't reflect it. When he had McCarthy at Michigan, he didn't let him throw the ball. And now that they're sitting there at pick number five, he could easily try to make a move to draft McCarthy, to draft the best quarterback in the, in the draft class, according to Jim Harbaugh himself. Draft the quarterback who had the greatest pro day he's ever seen in his career. Why wouldn't you take that guy? But Harbaugh won't. Because deep down, he knows McCarthy's not going to be that good. He's not going to come in and take over a team and be a franchise quarterback. And that is why I caution fans, media, and other NFL teams. Don't listen to what Jim Harbaugh has to say. Look at his actions and what he did when he had McCarthy on his team for three years. Those actions speak louder than words. That's why, for me, J.J. McCarthy is the most overrated quarterback prospect in this draft class. Because he's getting the hype like he's a true game changer. Like he's a franchise quarterback. But how he played on the field is anything but that. He's not, to me, going to go to the NFL and all of a sudden magically become now the guy that can throw the ball 40 times a game and lead you that way. He's overrated. He's getting too much hype. In large part because of Jim Harbaugh's um, preaching, if you will, call it that. Um, every chance he gets. Look at Harbaugh's actions, not his words. That to me is why 
McCarthy's the most overhyped prospect in this draft class. He's not done anything to earn the title of getting drafted in the top two, top three, top five. He's not the second, third, fourth, or even fifth best quarterback in the draft class. Don't get suckered into what Jim Harbaugh is saying. Look at the film. Analyze it for yourself. Don't get fooled into drafting a quarterback that you're going to have to dump three years from now. Harbaugh's words speak louder than... uh, or how was actions? Screwed that up. Harbaugh's actions speak louder than his words. Don't get suckered into thinking anything else. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe. Ryan Hickey on YouTube. If you're listening right now, check out the podcast. Hick at night. Um, night spelled N-I-T-E. Available wherever you do get your pods. I want to hear from you, though. In the comments below, tell me. If you disagree, tell me why. If you believe J.J. McCarthy. I mean, let's just get nuts. Best quarterback in this draft class. Second best quarterback in this draft class. You feel I'm being unfair. You think he's worth a top two, top three, top five pick. Make your case. I'll jump in the comments and kind of go back and forth. You're looking to hear what you have to say. But if you think J.J. McCarthy is a top three, top two, top five kind of guy, I want to hear it. Comment below.